You know, no child should have to sleep on the floor. Mm -mm, cannot imagine. In this morning's Zevely Zone, Jeff goes to Vista, where volunteers are now building beds for families in need. If you've ever gone camping and slept on the ground, you know what a rough night that can be. Well, there are children in this county who sleep without a bed every night. Seems a little crazy that we're taking this on. Stephen Marie Hovland heard about a nonprofit called Sleep in Heavenly Peace and thought, oh, wow, we could volunteer with that. Well, yeah, we thought this is something we could do. And then we looked into it and we found out there wasn't a chapter in all of San Diego that we could go help with. So we have our own chapter now. The organization estimates 3% of children don't own beds. And by that math, that means 620 kids in Vista alone. If they're sleeping on the floor, if they're sleeping on a cot, we want to give them a safe, secure place to sleep. Volunteers buy the materials from Lowe's at a discounted price and roll up their sleeves. What do you say to people who say, I can't build a bed. I don't know how to do that. This is bed building for dummies. We have station by station by station, and if they can do this in the sand, we can put them to work. Are you too young to build a bed? No, I'm Teach these kids the, the spirit of community involvement, the spirit of giving back when they're young. The parents volunteering stays with them for the rest of their life. This bed building party took place at North Coast Church. I mean, who doesn't love a bunk bed? Mary Bishop says when a child receives their first bed, the reaction is priceless. They're giddy, they're excited, they're jumping on the bed. Many kids insist on putting their own beds together. And every donation comes with full bedding and pillows. And for the finishing touch? Every bed gets the SHP brand on the headboard. I'm supposed to ask Matt if the iron is hot. Red hot. If any child needs a bed, they get one. No questions asked. The only thing that they have to do is tell us they don't have a bed. They don't have a safe place to sleep. Marie and Steve say if they get enough volunteers, they may just be able to put this whole problem to bed. It's going great. In the Zevely Zone, hey! Jeff Zevely, CBS 8.